Ted Alexander and ODU Hall of Fame here, Monarchs and Marshall, game two of the series after the Monarchs came from 21 down on Friday to win by one, a different story on Saturday. Well, Ted, pregame we talked about how would Marshall respond to blowing a 21-point lead. We said it was going to be up to their veterans to establish the game and the tempo of the game. They did from the beginning. Tavion Kinsey and Jared West set the tone for the entire game by scoring, I think, 18 of the first 20 points for Marshall. And they were cooking with gas from the jump. They took their early lead in the first half. Monarchs the night before were able to uh, crawl their way back into the game, coming from 21 down in the second half to win. Not the case on Saturday night. Despite the efforts of Joe Reese, Reese goes for 13 points and eight rebounds. Jalen Hunter, a solid game. He had 12 points, six assists, and four rebounds. The other Monarch in double figures was Austin Trice, who had 16 points and eight rebounds. Not enough without Malik Curry and A.J. Oliver as the Monarchs fall 87-67. You know, Trice, you, you know what you're going to get from him every night. It's going to be maximum effort, times a little bit out of control, but you know what you're going to get. But Joe Reese and um, Jalen Hunter, what valuable experience it was to get extended minutes not just to get extended minutes, to make a significant contribution to your team. In the end, that experience will bear fruit for the Monarchs as the season unfolds. It'll unfold with a trip to the Queen City of Charlotte on Wednesday when the Monarchs begin a home-and-home -home series against the 49ers. They'll come back here to Chartway Arena on Saturday. Final score, Marshall 87, Old Dominion 67. Monarchs now 9-5 and five overall, 5-3 five and three in Conference USA play. For Dave Twardzik, I'm Ted Alexander for Monarch Media.